Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Dania and today's topic focuses on one preposition which is toward. So we will be focusing on this particular preposition and in this video I will be explaining the meaning of toward, like what is actually toward. This is number one. Number two, how to use this preposition in sentences. So I will be providing you with plenty of examples with explanations to help you understand the meaning of two words so that you will be able to use it perfectly and easily. All right, so uh, let's start. What is actually towards or toward? And by the way, towards and toward are the same. Um, even though one ends with S and the other one doesn't end with S, but the meaning is the same. The only thing is that toward is more common in American English, while towards is more in the British English. This is the only difference. Back to the meaning, we need to use towards to talk about movement in the direction of something or someone. Sounds confusing? Let's have a look at the following examples to understand the meaning perfectly well. She walked towards the park. Towards the park. What does that mean? With the use of towards, we are speaking about the movement or the direction. Where is her direction? Her direction is the park. That means we can say she walked towards the park. I will simplify the, the example. For example, if you see someone walking in the direction of a restaurant, then you can say, oh, he's walking towards the restaurant. If you see someone walking um, like to the door, you can say, oh, he's walking towards the door. If someone is walking to the kitchen, you can say, oh, he's walking towards the kitchen because he's hungry. This is how you can use two words in sentences. So basically, two words is about the direction or about the movement. Where is the person moving to? Where is he going to? Is he going to the restaurant? Is he going to the park? Is he going to uh, like gate A? That means this person is moving towards gate A or towards the restaurant or towards the park or towards the parking area, things like that. All right, let's have a look at another example to understand the idea much better. He gestured towards the door, indicating that it was time to leave, meaning that he was pointing at the direction of the door, like maybe he, he like his attention is basically circulated towards the door, just to, to indicate that it is time for him to stand up and leave something like that. Let's have a look at another example. She walked towards her friend's house. So with the use of two words, we can tell that she walked in the direction of her friend's house. So this is how you can tell where is the person moving to. Like it's about the intention of the movement. He pointed towards the sky. What does that mean? It means that he pointed in the direction of the sky. Let's say he was in a room and all of a sudden opened the door or maybe opened the balcony to look at the sky. So we can tell that he is basically looking towards the sky, something like that. Let's have a look at another one. The dog ran towards its owner. What does that mean? It means that the dog basically moved in the direction of its owner. So let's say the dog was in the park, like running, chasing over things, and suddenly when the dog saw the owner, decided to run towards him. So in this case, we can say the dog ran towards its owner. The boat sailed 
towards the island. So what does that mean? It means that by looking at the direction of the boat, we can tell that the captain of the boat decided to take the direction of the island. And in this case, we can tell that the boat sailed towards the island, like moving in the direction of the island. He leaned towards the microphone to speak. What does that mean? It means that he wasn't basically near the microphone, but then decided to move closer in the direction of, microfo of the microphone. Why? To use the microphone to speak. So this is how you can use two words. I believe this will be the last example of today's video. So here, she walked towards the door, eager to see who was there. What does that mean? Maybe she was sitting in the living room and when she heard the, uh, the doorbell, she found herself walking in the direction of the door to see who was there. And in this case, we use towards. She walked towards the door. That means she decided to walk in the direction of the door. Things like that. So is everything okay until now? Like any questions you want to ask me about? Like if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below so I will answer your questions immediately or I will create another video with more examples to help you understand the overall idea much better. If you found this video really useful, please don't forget to give it some likes, comments, and share it among your friends and classmates. So in this case, uh, that will basically help the channel to grow. And also, it's like a support, all right? So yeah, this is all um, about today's video. So thank you so much for joining this English grammar podcast. So the, the next video will basically focus on another type of prepositions. However, if you have other topics that you want me to focus on, feel free to let me know in the comments below. So in this case, I wish you a wonderful time and I will be looking forward to having you on the upcoming video. Have a great day and take care. Bye bye.